For creating cinematic look of your project, you should have at least an interesting location. With this task, I started making the library project. I search for interesting and beautiful place that can motivate me on creating this story. On the stage of scouting process, I visited this place and took a few pictures in order to understand how this place looks in the frame. And I liked it. Based on the location, my wife used Pinterest for making the reference base, costumes and mood of the place. We planned the set design. And then I came up with a little story. I could shoot all as it is, but I needed props and costumes. I chose the color gamma for my project. It was harmony of combination of brown, orange and dark green. These are not bright and motley colors, just what I was looking for. Since all these look quite good in the frame, working with color feeling of the scene is quite important part of pre-production, because if I didn't control it, scoutic colors combination in the frame would look sloppy and ugly. As the props feeling, I took a few floor warm lamps, did towards the crown, I took several reference shots from it for my project. I rented the costumes and props. How much it all cost, I will tell you in the end of this video. I wanted to use not contrast, not sharp cinema lens for my project. I chose not expensive Cookie Pan Crew Classic. It helped me to achieve a vintage look, vignette, whole bokeh, glow in the highlight area. All these are the effect of classic lens. The house and modified it version of Pankru was used in the Crown and Chernobyl Netflix series. The glass of the new and old lens version is the same. Since I use a cinema lens with PL mount, I choose Komodo for this project. I rented this camera and lens. For a comfortable and safe recording 6K raw material, I used Argency Fast 2. I wore it a little than I used on familiar brands of memory card. With access and card, I work all my DP career on the big project, and this card I trust more of all. I'm not worried about safety of material with it. The Archon is quite fast card. This bit allowed me to use recording raw material with 6K. Since I don't track dialogues, I took the 512GB card, which is more than enough for me to work for all day. I had four light sources. I know that you don't like knowing that sometimes I use expensive gear, but don't worry, Ari can be changed to any LED sources with 600 watts of power of light. Godox helped me to make side light on the middle shots and intensify warm light of practical light. This model has very cool option of change color temperature and color intensify, and sometimes I can use it like a warm light or cold light too. I can't say that light plays a key role for volume image here, unlike the shadows. Natural and smooth light from the window looks quite well, but the natural light bounces from white walls and fill all space to extra light, and image looks quite flat. We block it all bounced light from the walls. I used black fabric for negative fill from the camera side in almost every scene. Powerful area works as a backlight here, and you can see beams of light because we added smoke. It was a haze machine with little glycerin smoke. Haze is very useful for volumetric image. In this case, the light looks more volumetric. We use haze everywhere. Sometimes we were lucky and we caught the sun. It was here and here. Let me remind that I have a cool lighting and set design course in which you can take shot no worse than mine.
As you can see, the shadows of this scene is quite deep, just because I use negative fill from the camera side, again. Ari in this scene works a key light from the window. You can see all power of light in the beams. Also, I used Godox as backlight on the character. I set the temperature of this light the same warm as the floor lamps. Godox helped me intensify practical light. In this scene, you can see the side key light from the Godox 300VL, small backlight from Ari, background fill light from the other Godox, and practical light from floor lamps. As I made the close-up shot, I need soft light on the character's face. A hard light will be sharp and not lovely on the female face. I use bounce light with foam board for this. Many people wonder how much this project cost. The budget of this project was about $2,000. I took rent all that you saw in the backstage except Godox light. Okay, thank you so much for watching and your support. I hug you mate. Bye.